Now we're going to learn about the physical inventory process in SAP Warehouse Management. In this video, we're going to learn about just the overview of the inventory procedure. And in the next videos, we're going to learn about the customizing and all the different processes uh, in inventory. The topics we'll be covering in this overview chapter, they are what is inventory procedure, purpose of the inventory process, types of the inventory procedures and steps in inventory process. So first of all, we'll learn about what is inventory procedure. Inventory, physical in inventory is a process of determining if the inventory quantities are exact as per the quantity present physically in the warehouse and that the one that is mentioned in the SAP system. Main target of inventory process is to make sure that your SAP system and physical stock levels must be the same. So that, that's the main procedure that whatever stock we have uh, in the real time in the warehouse that should be matching with the numbers that we have in the SAP system. So that's the purpose of the inventory procedure. Now we'll discuss about the purpose of inventory process. So it is mandatory for legal reasons that inventory count should be conducted at least once a year. Management can have the correct information on the value of stock materials. ATP for sales order is accurate. So if you know about SAP SD, you might be know, knowing about the ATP. So ATP stands for available to promise. So where when we create a sales order in the SAP system, system will go and check uh, the and confirm a delivery date for the for the sales goods, depending on what stock we have and all the procurement processes. So if we have the correct inventory and numbers in the system, so we'll have an accurate uh, ATP check for the sales order. MRP calculation is correct. And due to this, the production and procurement processes are precise and accurate. So these are the benefits or the purpose of the inventory process. Now we'll discuss about the types of inventory procedures. So we got these types. So first one is the annual, in, annual inventory. Then we have the continuous inventory. And then we have the continuous inventory based on the stock placement, continuous inventory based on zero stock check and cycle counting. And the last one is a manual counting. So these are the types of inventory procedure that we're going to learn about um, in this course as well. And I'll, I'll provide you more details about each of them. And I'll show you how we really, uh, how we really work on the SAP system when we go through these um, different inventory procedures in the next videos. Um, now we'll discuss about the steps in the physical inventory process. So what are the different steps from SAP point of view that we need to go through to complete the uh, inventory process in SAP system? So in SAP WM, the first step is to create a PI document. So PI stands for physical inventory document and the transaction used is LX15. And then the second, second step is L, LX15, the transaction to activate the same PI document. Then what we do is we print this inventory list using li04 transaction then after printing we give the 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 printout to the warehouse guy who will go and physically count the goods in the warehouse now one thing uh, interesting is that um, what happens is when we print it sap will never print the quantity mentioned in the sap system it will just print the uh, the bin number the the storage type number and all that and the uh, uh, and the material codes next to it, but will never display the uh, quantity in SAP system because this will give some hint to the uh, warehouse guy who is going to go and really check and count the goods in a warehouse and they can probably, they can mischief us and they can say, okay, the, the goods are matching. So for them, we'll just give them blank paper, no quantity, and they will go and check the real quantities. So. As I just said, so the guy will go and physically count the uh, st stock in the warehouse. And the next step will be the, 
the same person or the warehouse supervisor will enter the count in the SAP system. So whatever count is done by the warehouse person that will be entered in the SAP system. LI11N is the transaction. And this optional um, um, uh, transaction for recount. So what that means is if there is a say, uh, big difference between the stock in the in the SAP system and what was counted by the warehouse guy then system will can also depending on the customizing system can give you a warning message okay that there is probably more than 10 percent difference or maybe 20 percent difference between the uh, stock in the SAP and the stock stock counted by counted by the warehouse guy so if we have some doubt then we can recount it so we can ask the guy okay go back and check this few stocks again because we have some doubt on this one so recounting is optional step but we can do it lt14 transaction and finally once we are happy then what we do is we clear the differences in wm using li20 and last step is to clear the differences in inventory management in mm li21 is the transaction code so all these steps uh, i'll be showing you practically uh, in the next videos so just a recap so in this video we learned about the what is the inventory procedure and then we learned about purpose of inventory process types of inventory procedures and steps in the inventory process so thank you to watch this video